Hi ladies. Okay, so I'm Rosie the Riveter today. I'm going to do a tutorial on how to do eyeshadow from the 1940s. So I've already done my face and I'm wearing Fly Girl. And it doesn't come off, I've already got it on. And I've already done my eyebrows, Shadow Sense. So this is gonna be my base coat. I'm gonna put it on one eye at a time because once it starts to set, it doesn't budge. Now, instead of just um, wiping like you do with normal powder straight across, you kind of dab and wipe at the same time. So I'm gonna dab it in my corner a little bit, right there. Okay, and that's gonna get rid of um, any lines that I have from veins or anything like that and make my, make my skin just look um, smooth and even. Okay, so 1940 look. They did a few things and you can take it under here and just kind of clean up anything that you need to. I already did my concealing, but if I hadn't, uh, this makes an awesome concealer. And so that was um, Shadow Sense and it's Sandstone Pearl. Okay, so here's my little trick because uh, wing eyeliner is a little bit tricky. You know how much I like tape. So we're gonna put a little tape and you're gonna go from the corner of your eye, right down here, to the end of your eyebrow. And that is gonna help us get our wing. It's also gonna help make sure that none of our shadows kind of went over. And in the 40s, they like to have like a nice, crisp, clean look. And so even though the eyeliner was really dramatic, the eyeshadows were light, but everything was very crisp. Okay, so you just wanna make sure that's down. Now, I used medical tape earlier. I don't suggest that, it's really sticky and it hurts, I pulled some of my skin off. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is you are going to put, um, they put a little light color in the crease. And so we're gonna use uh, Mocha Java. And you just need like two dots because they didn't do it very heavy. It was just for a little teeny bit of a, um, in the crease, a little darkening. I really like for the shadow sense to use these stipple brushes to kind of spread it around. They're real stiff on the end and little. And you're just gonna take it in your crease and kind of pat it where you want it. And you can bring it down just a little bit. Now because um, I don't have a lot of crease that shows after my eyes are open, I bring mine up just a little bit to create a false crease. And then what you're gonna do is you can take your fluffy brush and kind of do the windshield wiper motion. Make sure it's blended, because you don't want those harsh lines. The only place we want a real stark harsh line is on the edge of our eye. Now we're gonna use sandstone pearl shimmer. And we're gonna add a little bit of shimmer right to the ball of our eye. And I'm actually just gonna use my finger and I'm gonna really lightly tap it. Try and get in there so you can kind of see. Tap that in. These girls looked nice and bright all the time. And then we just want a little bit right here on the bone. Make that pop a little. Okay, so then we're gonna take our clean, fluffy brush and you can just make sure everything's blended. You're not gonna do it very harsh. Pretty soft. So it all stays on there. So it's real, real, real simple. Now on for the winged liner. I'm going to use Shadow Sense Onyx. This is awesome, it makes a great eyeliner. I am going to start with a little bit on my brush. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look in this mirror over here, but I'm gonna draw along my tape line how far I want to go. And so as you can see, I put the tape from here right into this crease straight down. So it's gonna be perfect for where I wanna go with my wing. And your wing kind of comes out to kind of where your um, brow bone's gonna be. They kind of had a little bit of a long one. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna go straight out there and then I'm gonna start in the middle and I'm gonna come straight across. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill that in, okay? We're gonna do that right now. I have another little tip for you. If you put your palm on your hand like this, and rest your hand here, you can pivot and move around. If you do it like this, you can't really move good, but if you do this, you can. And you're real steady this way. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in real fine. That super thin line, this real, real thin brush makes that really easy to do. And then we're going to take Our angle brush. Smooth everything out, make sure we get down there towards the lashes real, real good. I'm telling you ladies, if I can do this, you can do this. The nice thing is, is it's gonna stay all day and it looks great, very classic look. Now this will take about, oh, 10, 15 minutes to dry. Now look at that, isn't that so pretty? and put on my fake lashes and show you what the finished look looks like. Okay, so this is my final look. I got my lashes on. It's really simple, super pretty. Using tape is an awesome trick. That's not gonna budge all day long. If you wanna recreate this look, Shadow Sense Onyx for your liner. You're gonna use Mocha Java in your crease. You're gonna use sandstone pearl all over, and then if you want any sparkle up on your brow or in the middle, you're gonna use sandstone pearl shimmer. The mascara on your bottom lashes is it, and some red lipstick, and you're good to go. Make this look and go out for a hot day.